Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ampun tengku. Uh, patik uh, merapak sembah mohon ampun dan menjunjung tinggi kasih atas keberangkatan yang mak mulia tengku tun uh, pada petang ini bersama para penyokong. Uh, sebenarnya untuk makluman tengku penyokong uh, fans kita JDT yang memang sangat berhajat untuk bertemu dengan tengku sendiri. Pada sesi uh, bersama Tengku Makota uh, minggu lepas Jadi dia orang kata kita arrangekan satu Jadi Alhamdulillah tonton pada hari ini kita rasa cukup bertuah Dapat bersama dengan uh, Tengku Tu pada petang ini Jadi uh, mungkin uh, mungkin ada press ataupun uh, fans yang ingin bertandingkan sesuatu uh, Boleh berbuat demikian Tapi sebelum tu uh, Tengku Tu untuk makluman ada sesuatu yang mungkin nak disampaikan Jadi uh, patik tanpa melengahkan masa uh, Memudukan uh, memohon Tengku untuk memulakan majlis Terima kasih Tengku Selamat petang semua uh, um, Saya cakap bahasa English eh? Kalau boleh um, So I have witnessed first hand How much hard work my brother His Royal Highness Tengku Makota Johor Has put into the JDT club Over the past few years I can see that it's not just about one team. There are so many aspects to the club. From the academy all the way through the JDT first team, this is a big project and a big club. Everyone can see the progress over the past few years, not only with the success of six trophies, but also the international partnership and infrastructure development from the refurbishment of the Lakin Stadium, the Datuk Sulaiman Johor Stadium, the training facility at Pasir Kudang, just to name a few. It's an honor to be provided this opportunity and I promise to do my best to assist my brother and everyone involved in the club in any way that I can so that we all can continue to make this club better and more bigger. Thank you. Dengan harapan tadi uh, Mungkin lepas ni kita dapat tengok um, Tengku Tun sendiri Bersama Dulia Mak Mulia Dulia Mak Mulia Tengku Mak Mulia Johor Bersama-sama handle Klub Pasir Pak JDT eh, Itu harapan uh, kita semualah eh. Okay uh, Fatih buka pada fans Okay any questions please Okay maybe from uh, press Silakan Uh, terkejut memang ada Tapi rasa bertuah Pasal uh, TMJ Trust me InsyaAllah uh, Kita menang The champions Memang nampak the, the bangsa Johor semua united Umur berapa pun, agama apa pun semua memang united Itu yang buat kita semua bangga InsyaAllah InsyaAllah memang menang lah InsyaAllah Saya doa banyak-banyak <laughs> Saya, saya um, InsyaAllah saya akan naik uh, Kerja saya di Hajj Bulan apa September So Saya doa banyak-banyak lah kat sana <laughs> Dia, dia banyak ajar saya tentang peraturan, what goes on in the background tu semua and um, 
saya akan advise sedikit tentang financials and maybe marketing strategy pasal uh, yelah selalu it's better to have an opinion from different mindsets so saling berkomunikasi ya yeah, saling Pelakuan saya Pembaruan uh, InsyaAllah kita akan letak banyak uh, Macam teknik-teknik baru Yang for now is confidential Saya tak boleh bicarakan Tapi We gonna give it a new face InsyaAllah Haa <laughs> Ah uh, tentang tu tu kena tanya Cik Puan Kalida. Pasal dia dia memang ada berbincang dulu tapi tak tahulah. Tengok dulu. Thank you. Uh, untuk pelumaan tengku eh. Uh, FAM dah 2 tahun approach us untuk adakan uh, bola sepak pasukan bola sepak wanita JDT. Hmm. Mungkin apa ni tengku boleh mungkin maklumkan ialah dengan Cik Puan berbincang kalau Betul. ada 2017 kalau kita ada satu tim kita just a good start lah Sebab kita pun nama tengah naik Tuh, Banyak tahun, banyak tim approach. polis pun tanya right. Nak masuk nah. JDT wanita punya squad <laughs> Nanti saya beritahu Nanti saya sampaikan eh. <laughs> Lagi lagi banyak sokong kot lepas ni. <laughs> Insya-Allah, ya. Yeah. For the saya saya akan fokus um, dengan kanak-kanak lebih. Yang adult semua saya kasi abang saya handle. <laughs> Tunggu Mohon ampun ya uh, Sedih maklum uh, Adakah Tunggu uh, Perniaga stadium lelaki kan Jadi Apa perasaan Tunggu Terhadap sokongan yang diberikan oleh Bangsa Johor Terhadap pasukan Adakah ia cukup kuat Ataupun masih lemah Ataupun Perlukan Something new Pada saya memang cukup kuat Kalau tengok Negeri-negeri uh, lain Saya rasa Johor paling bagus Okey, uh, jadi tunggu uh, saya mewakili Boy of Trade. Jika tunggu ada apa-apa lagu yang nak diubah untuk menjadi sorakan, tunggu boleh approach pada Win Jaso. <laughs> kita akan kita akan cuba habis baik. Thank you. Nanti saya kasi dia list. Terima <laughs> kasih tunggu.
Okay, nanti saya beritahu Alistair. Okay, sekarang saya dah nampak muka awak, saya dah cam nanti saya beritahu. Eh. <laughs> Batuk pakai badge. Perempuan suka yang dia Kasih nak tanya tu Tengok dia orang nak tanya tapi dia orang segan Tanya je apa-apa Tanya apa-apa <laughs> Sila Kalau kita nak standard tinggi memang perlu in aspect of bayar gaji orang and apa ambil orang yang betul-betul berkualified untuk deliver the performances, the training, the coaching memang perlu. Kalau tengok kelab-kelab yang antarabangsa pun bajet orang lebih tinggi dari itu. So kalau betul-betul bola sepak Malaysia, Johor semua kalau memang betul nak maju kita memang kena meet a certain standard, a certain benchmark. Ya. Panjat. Saya cakap, ni. Dia pasal Tengku Makota, he's a very, he's very family oriented. So he wants his family to be very involved and I'm very honoured that he chose me. So. I think I can attract more youth to be more open towards a healthier lifestyle like sports and everything because I realize that now we are very into social media, um, we're very into our phones, our laptops, our iPads. So maybe with my involvement with this football, I could encourage more younger people to be involved in any kinds of sports, football, cricket, rugby, and all that. So inshallah, my contract lama juga lah. <laughs> Assalamualaikum, Tunggu. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry serak. Nama saya Aki. Uh, saya daripada Klub Gabungan Penyokong Johor, JCAC ingin mencadangkan pada tuanku selaku presiden PPNJ eh presiden Johor Jawa Tazim saya mencadangkan satu saja uh, kemasukan fan Johor di Lakin saya mohon uh, ada gap daripada segi orang veteran wanita kanak-kanak satu lorong dan kaum lelaki satu lorong terutamanya di Lakin ketika masuk bukan bukan belilah bukan beli tiket maksudnya kita kena masuk stadium kita dapat asingkan penyokong wanita boleh bersama dengan warga emas lelaki satu lorong setiap pintu yang ada di Stadium Lakin mungkin ini cadangan daripada pihak kelab gabungan punya konjol lah tunggu itu saja tunggu terima kasih I just think um, it's fantastic, fantastic that the 
um, the TMJ's, everyone knows about TMJ's involvement in the football and, and his father, and it's, it's fantastic that um, now we've got uh, a, a new, new, new vision, uh, I mean, a, a vision that offers something different because um, with football, it unites different races like in, within the country, but also it's an international game and women play football. Um, men play football, kids and girls, and w we, you don't know a lot of the discussions that go on behind closed doors and everything, but um, Tukumina is very, very passionate, loves coming to the game, always talks about football, and it's fantastic that she's involved in the game because the club is getting bigger and bigger, and the, the support is fantastic. We're on the cusp of winning the seventh trophy in, in the involvement with TMJ. And this is just the positives that are coming out of, of Johor, and particularly with the, with the football club, is fantastic. And I think it's to make that we have um, Tunku Amina joining us in, to give her expertise. And she mentioned a lot about um, the beauty of, of sport to encourage a healthy lifestyle and getting active. And um, I think it's, it's fantastic. So we're from a technical point of view, the coaches, the players, and everyone are really excited to have um, you involved, and we think it's fantastic. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Hi. Ellie, okay, we know the status of J2. Can you elaborate on the statement made by Kevin regarding about the status of J2? Yeah. Um, I've had many discussions with uh, Kevin Ramalingam. We've, we went to Kuala Lumpur. At the moment, he was, just he was just commenting on the regulations at the moment allow us, if we choose, to play um, in the, um, the Super League. But we, uh, meaning TMJ, everyone, it's clear that the JDT2 is our feeder team and we will not be participating in the, the Super League. And um, you know, if, even if we get promoted, we will decline. And because we're working very closely with Kevin, um, whoever finishes below us will get promoted because we see JDT2 as our development team. We have 16-year-olds playing in that. We have 18-year-olds playing in that. These players are we looking to promote into the, the Super League team. And there's, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense to have two teams playing in the one competition. It's part of our, the overall big picture um, of the development of the academy, and we have the under 21s, the under 19s, and JDT2 is our development team, our feeder team to go to the thing. And Kevin understands that, but all Kevin was clarifying is that the, the rules stipulate that we can if we choose, because we're moving towards the, uh, the, the professionalism of the league and the privatisation, but everyone is aware that we, are, we have no intentions of having two teams in the, in the Super League. No, 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 because you know, I've got actually everything that he said. So, sometimes um, w w when there's so many good things happening with, with uh, things, everyone wants to try and create stories out of JDT because everyone wants to know about JDT. And sometimes the, the press choose to leave out certain things. But categorically, Kevin stated that we have had many discussions with JDT. TMJ and, and, and myself have, have said to him that we are not going to be promoted, but... Um, no, no. Ke Kevin is doing a lot of lot of good good stuff. So there's no there's no malice or anything that he's he's trying to do. No. It's more it's more the how, how it's reported. Okay, that. Last, last maybe last question. <coughs> yeah, Sheila. You can't win all the time, so win or lose, you need to be loyal and support your man and your team and your your friends as well. So kadang-kadang saya notice bila menang semua happy, bila kalah suddenly kosong, hilang, banyak orang hilang, tak boleh gitu. The loyalty must be there. So sekarang kita, kita punya isu yang Tengku maklumkan Sekiranya kalau kita straight game menang, stadium penuh 
Nanti slow-slow kalau uh, kalah satu game dua game dah senyap sunyi stadium. Tu maksud tengku dah apa yang kita hadapi sekarang adalah perkara tersebut. Ya, eh? jadi lepas ni mungkin uh, saya nak jumpa uh, tuan-tuan sebentar. Uh, saya ada dengan sesi temu ni uh, temu buat saya dengan tuan-tuan. Eh, lepas ni. Okey ada soalan lagi. Last. Please, ada lagi. Oh, ada dua bagus. Dah punya hujung pula baru. Okey. <laughs> Yeah, well, with 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 the uh, when we talk about the scholarships, every player that gets selected into our academy program is is in effect a scholarship holder because we pay for the the schooling, the um, the food, the accommodation, the the coaching, and everything. So it's a very very professionally run um, club uh, um, academy in line with what they do in the, in in in, um, in Europe. But we're expanding that because, like I say, the club is getting bigger and bigger. So we um, have got our district academies now working, where there's the, the Johor State Government and Captain Fami has been fantastic in arranging that, is providing funding to for the coaches and for everything. And I've spoken to Tunku Makoda Johor a number of times, is that if there is any talented players out there, um, once we identify them, we take care of everything. So there, there is funds available, there's scholarships available for, for that. And we've got our, had our first scouting um, network meet, meet meeting was here last week with Professor Nasser Yusuf. He was held it. And we had 20 scouts from all the districts from, um, from Johor. And they are very excited about um, the talent they're seeing. And they were asking the same question. If we, if we identify them, how do we get them here? Uh, who provides this, etc.? And so we have um, contingencies, we have funds, and TMJ is already, he, he, he thinks ahead. He's always a step ahead. He's, he's, he has um, everything in place, but as soon as we get an identified player, we then look after them from cradle all the way to the, the top. We would even like acknowledge how the dietary works as well. Yes. Nutrition is very important when it comes to sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're just talking about the. It's not only just the football. It's the off the off the park. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. yeah, the lifestyle, the education, the um, the nutrition, um, e everything is is taken care of, and we've just put it because the the, the club is expanding so much. We've just um, hired a a new warden because we have the, the children, um, the players. They stay at, at Edu City, and we have to make sure that we we are, we have them look after them properly. We have four wardens there already. Now we put a head warden on top of that because we're expanding even more. We're, we're going to take more players in. Um, and we had a meeting yesterday with, with him to put in the policies and procedures. And that's why the, the whole thing about the club, because it is getting bigger and bigger, um, TMJ, as we know, is very hands-on. Very, he's, he's the visionary. He just needs people um, to come along and, and administer and manage and everything. And that's why it's uh, great that um, part of the family is coming along now to help us and to, to share the, the, the workload and give that the vision and direction and add other things, which is, is fantastic. Okay. How has the scouting been done, actually? How's it? The, the scouting for the... Yeah. The, the question is, how, how is the scouting being done? This is a, 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 not only a big club and a big project, but it's a big state. It's a, it's, it, it is, it's, it's a is challenging... It just, is it just between the state or... Home Malaysia, yes. So what we have is MSSN and MSSJ tournaments, and we just went to the MSSM tournament in, in Selangor, right. where our um, scouts, our, our German, the Borussia Dortmund coaches were there, working closely with the education department. Because it's crucial that we cannot do this alone. That's why you'll hear um, Tunkum Makoda Johor saying, we need everyone to this. We're all in this together. The fans, the sponsors, the everyone. And so... We, with, with Captain Fami, myself, and um, Sukumaran, our um, development officer, we have had many meetings with the education department of Johor. 
And so it's crucial because where do our, all of our young um, players, all of them, they all go to school. So we're trying to create partnerships about, so if we go together with them, so we can send our coaches to co coach the, the teachers. And, the, and so we, we, we have a motto here is that better coaches is better football and everything. So not only are we talking about uh, making the, 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 the players better people, but the, the coaches is crucial for us. So when you say about where do we do our, um, our scouting, it's all over. So from when they go to kindergarten, we're doing projects now to upskill the kindergarten teachers to get them involved in football. Because like Tunku, I mean, um, Mina said, is that far too often now everyone's on their phones and on their laptops and we're leaving a less active lifestyle. We have to encourage more active li lifestyle and that's what we are looking to do. And that starts by education, that starts by the love of football, and the, and the earlier that we can get our, the children to be in love with JDT and love with football, and they have heroes, and that's why we have to have a women's team as well, because for male and the female, is that they can then um, be inspired and, and be involved in that active um, lifestyle. But for the, for the scouting, the education department partnership is crucial to that. Saya faham eh? Apa maksud saya tak perlu saya translate? Okey, tuan-tuan semua saya faham. Saya saya tahu, tuan-tuan tahu. Eh, faham apa yang dimaksudkan oleh Lester. Okey, ada soalan apa-apa? Last tak ada? Okey, kalau uh, tak ada, uh, majlis uh, menyunjung setinggi-tinggi kasih atas uh, support, atas kepercayaan dan juga kerjasama yang memulai tengku dalam persatuan pelawat sepak negeri Johor. Cuma itulah patik... Uh, mewakili wanita ni tadi mungkin kalau boleh nak adakan persatuan bola sepak wanita eh anda JDT lah starting from next year mungkin tengku boleh fikirkanlah macam mana tengku okay. saya sampaikan eh tengku scan terima kasih tengku assalamualaikum